Okay, so hello everyone, this is Lucky. Uh, today I just wanted to, to talk about ACF helicopter and what's the problem with them, what makes them like not very, not working properly. So here as you can see, it's a mechanical helicopter, so everything it works with a swash plate, so everything is mechanic mainly, and the power is given by ACF, some turbine as you can see. So here you have a hydraulic version, so the swash plate which is in Obinu is controlled by some hydraulic which in turn move the rope, which move the blade. So those helicopters with ACF, they kind of work. They are okay because basically they are heavy. There is a lot of thing going on, so there is not enough room for ACF mess with them. Okay, what's going on? So that's very old, old helicopter. Now. There have been so much update, doesn't work very well anymore. Let's try this one. So this one, the difference with the previous, is that the swash plate is controlled by Set angle, set angle, yeah. Oh, sorry for my English, like very bad accent. I know it. So, so as you can see, they are quite stable. They, they work pretty well. But the main problem with um, with mechanical is their accuracy. Just a second. So yeah, the main problem is that the the, the lack of accuracy, the mechanical are, are not very good for if I want, for example, to go under that bridge, let's go this way, turn around. They have accuracy issues. You can see I kind of struggle. Uh, oh, okay. No, so it, it's it's good to have a smooth ride in the air. Okay, this one is not good. I just make some selection. show a bit uh, how it works inside. Blah, 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 blah. Remover. Alright. So this way you can see. So that basically how it works. So they kind of work but my goal in the end was to have like a ACF helicopter that is fi able to, to pick a fight. You know what I mean? So then I try to make them more accurate. So let's have uh, what, what I'm doing. Yeah, there we go. So basically, it's the same, but I added some weapon on it. So it's very old. It's like five years old. So things are not working as they should. So as you can see, the rockets and low, you can see also the... So this one was very like the most accurate, I would say, that I have managed to... 
managed to pull out but the same like if I try to move under the bridge there Ooh, okay yeah same very hard very hard they are sluggish low response time not very good and the worst of all is this they are weak if there is a explosion nearby or something and it affect the blade all the system is fucked up uh, uh, let me show you if I just hit the wall with my blade there there we go I just hit the wall and now all the system is broken it's you have to totally respond uh, the helicopter to make it work so yeah now not good at all for a GGG, GG server, no way, no way you can pick a fight with that. So then I got the idea, maybe the uh, strongest way will be to remove all the mechanics, so all the physics, and just do it by with a E2. So my, my first idea was to use set angle. So let's go and let me show you this. this I don't even Pfft. where did I put it yeah here we go so basically the idea is do it with a, the less constraint as possible so basically a slave that control the blade and then it's just one axis for each rotor and one axis for each blade so the, the bare minimum the, the really bare minimum so now we just apply young force just to to power the helicopter so as you can see it's very smooth very accurate handle very well so how does it work exactly just to make quick explanation so basically the E2 is calculating a vector um, so depending on where the the, the chassis is moving, if it's moving this way or this way, or if it's rotating, pitch or, or roll, it's going to generate a vector out of this, for example, this way. Okay? And then the blade, every time they are passing over this, this vector, they are going to, to roll, to roll, to give the, the pitch and the further they move away, if they go this way, for, when they arrive to the opposite, they are, they are going to roll on the opposite way. So it's based on a sinus, you know. Uh, yeah, sin. The more they go closer, it's one, and the further they go away, it's minus one, and then it multiply by by the pitch and the or the force that is necessary, and that absolutely all that control this helicopter so all the rest here is just dead weight outside of neutral steer like that control with applying force but outside of that that's it but the problem after that is when you use set angle first you had four four constraints because you had you had the constraint to the blade then. So what if we can just do it with applying force directly? So that, that's what I did next. And it worked even better. It's even more like um, how to say 
optimize, I would say. So that's ACF. Basically, yeah, I, I don't have the version without um, ACF right now. I don't want to, to make you wait too much. So this is basically what it looks like with ACF. No more slave, just direct control over the blade with applying force. And, and this is the problem you have when you go very simple. I will show you this, this is a problem. I have been stuck with it for a year and there is just no way to solve it and it's kind of annoying so right now you see oh it's smooth it's good but i'm i'm using a bit of trickery to make it work and i'm going to show you what i'm what I mean by trickery. Oh, let's try to go under the bridge. Just to show you how accurate those helicopters are. So you can see it's not a problem. It's just dead hazy. You, you have a absolute control over the helicopter. The response time, it's, it's perfect. It's like driving a car. So with that, you can pick a fight, it becomes possible. Right now, I'm not very fast, but that was not the point. The point was to have the control on ICF and exit. Okay. Let's see what I need is this. Uh, not even, okay. Oh, that's weird. That's very weird. I was not expecting that. Okay, I'm just gonna use. Another one to demonstrate. Perfect. So on this one you could feel like there was some kind of vibration a bit, very slight. So you see the slight movement. There is a bit of, maybe it's easier to see there. It's moving, there is vibration. But it's very good, I, I mean like nothing to complain it's it's quite good but it work only be only with i mean this configuration if you add anything else it's not going to work it's going to to fuck around and it's not something you can redo every time and this is the problem i'm doing nothing right now And it's moving left and right all the time. So when you move very fast, it's okay, but... The only way I found to remove this problem is to clutch 90% of the force and then Now it's not moving anymore. Now it's perfectly stable. If I just show you, it barely moves. So yeah, but here it's a specific example. So if I show you what's going on there. So as you can see the clutch uh, right at the bottom, it's 0 0.9. 
because oh that's weird what's going on there I was not expecting that the torque is constant that's why so you look at torque output now it's constant that's the first time it's what's going on it's something I've been fixed or what Normally it's not supposed to be like that, it's just some short burst coming out. But if it's... that's why. That's wh what... the hell? Ah, you see? It's flickering, the torque output is flickering. It's like zero... Still zero, doing nothing... Yeah, 650, 0, and they are never like um, in sync, you know, they are not sync. So basically sometimes this one is 650, this one is 0. So you have the helicopter moving back and forth like left, right, left, right, like that. And that with counter, I mean counter rotation, you know. And even if I was using, let's say, like um, a single blade, so they are not linked to. It. So I'm just going to remove that. So yeah, so just a single blade, and I'm using apply force, um, just a little line to kind of catch with it to not let him move all the way around. The problem is like, it's not constant. So if it was a constant force, like, let's say like it's uh, 650, and it's all the time 650, or just with slight variation, it will be then possible to add opposing force. That's the first step, adding like a, a countering force, just to stabilize the, the base. Then when you can do that, then you can think of doing a tail rotor. But if you can't even do it in a simple way, you know what I mean? It's not going to be possible. So right now I'm using an opposing force. But the problem is like, it takes one tick for the opposing force to catch up. So first the chassis must move. And then the opposing force, like, oh, it's moving, and it apply an opposing force, you know what I mean? So it's going to turn anyway. But if I remove it, if I remove this, this contouring force, it's going to be way worse. So it's 0, 70, 0. So it's short burst. That's the problem. And I tried, like, many ways I tried with, like... Uh, I've been on the forum for a while and I, I tried many things. I tried like to m recalculate the oh, oh the ACF Lua is calculating how much force is going to the chassis. It doesn't work. It's it's re there is some randomness and there is too much thing going on to to really tell like exactly how much force it's going there. If someone knows how to do it, just tell me because. <laughs> That have been like a, a while in this situation. Okay, so here I go. I put two turbine, the lar the largest clutch I could get. So there is no like um, we are not like out talking the the clutch. And I think this is will will show you like a better example of of the problem. Yeah, so that's like most of the time. Then you can tweak, tweak, and tweak, and finally, f by sacrificing a lot of power and a lot of maneuverability, you can manage to to have something that is clean. But nah, I mean, here you see the problem. Like, it's too much. So you can't do like a good. 
um, ACF fi fighting helicopter. If you use mechanic, I mean physics, it's gonna be very laggy for the server. It's like I don't know, like a eight eighty constraint just to just for the rotor. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, but this is like maybe I don't know, maybe ten. You know what I mean? And the rest is all managed by the E2, which is ah, uh, this one is not optimized, but around 10%. Around 10%, it's okay for the server, you know? So, yeah, it's gonna be like that. And then, if I do this, wire, clutch, ah, this one is enough. was not the right one so this one is optimized clutch clutch so same story 09 of clutch just turn off so I put like two turbine uh, side by side and facing each other so they I was trying to see if this force was coming from the um, the gearbox or here the clutch or if it was from the engine too but actually the engine has no effect no effect at all like no it's there is no reactive torque coming from the engine it's all from the gearbox so So at the beginning it's okay, it's normal. And yeah, here we, here we go. Back and forth, back and forth. That's that's so annoying. <laughs> there is really nothing you can do about it. Just nah. I'm not gonna work. I tried also to put like the. I try with transfer. I try with CVT. It come down to the same. Like at some point you sacrifice something to get another problem, but you still have this problem anyway. Like CVTs are sluggish, but you have more torque, and but it's still doing the same shit. Back, left, right, left, right. I have tried like to do also very fast um, opposing force, like calculating uh, what the the base was doing, and straight away countering, so it worked. But still, like you still have some click. It's not very clean, and it's making very big problem when you go very fast. It's going to mess with the helicopter. Uh, the other thing I uh, I try by modifying the prop inertia to to balance everything. It makes things better, but it's still there. <laughs> there is really nothing you can do. So, what what would be cool is like the, if the people who are working on ACF right now could make um, some I don't know some output like some function or something like a, a ACF talk out you know what I mean that that already exists but that would be like good to have like ICF reactive torque so we can directly have the value of how much reactive torque is applied to a props to one props and how much is applied to another so that's why we can um, make helicopter <laughs> with ICF which is the point I mean at first it's the point but if we do mechanically it's not really playable I mean we can always try to make them more and more accurate but there is a limit of what you can do especially when you add like armor and guns and ammo and everything it's <laughs> it, it's not possible with mechanic I mean it's possible but it's, it's going to be shit um, we have to do it this way, the way I'm doing, but with this way it's too simple and because it's simple 
it gets affected by those small reaction. It's too accurate. It's too accurate for that. So uh, I'm sorry for my English, but I, I hope you understand the point. You know. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, that's that's depressing. Like there is so much that could be possible. But yeah, we need something to know how much reactive torque is applied to the chassis and how much to the blade because then you have to think they are going to be a machine gun under there that's going to move and they are going to be like rocket on the side and they are going to be some imbalance and a lot of things and maybe the, the ultimate goal will be to have only one rotor and two blades so to use as little um, constraint as possible and add like a tail rotor behind but something more simple in terms of uh, mechanics and operation so then I mean we have like something like a 8% 8% or two and uh, and maybe uh, at most like 10 10 constraint I mean 10 axis something like that maybe not even like maybe five or six like it's very efficient for for our server so it become become playable become playable but right now not possible so yeah that's the problem with ACF helicopter I, I just went back to that recently like because many people like add me on steam when they see my video on YouTube and they're like hey how do you do that I want to do this and or they just ask me on the YouTube channel and recently one guy asked me like hey I would like some help etc but I didn't give too much thought about it because I'm like yeah I, you don't understand why it's not possible right now what's the the problem and but then I realized oh uh, this guy know uh, you know uh, xxx mags uh, was the player like 10 years ago was doing like um, helicopter uh, mechanic helicopter was insane the guy was very good like I mean Back in the day when I was when he was putting his video out, I was just beginning, and I still remember like looking at his helicopter, uh, so much mechanics extra. It was very impressive. But so yeah, this guy, um, this friend of him, contacted me and asked me help, but I didn't respond at that time because I thought yeah, it's it's not uh, it's not doable, but. Yesterday I thought I'm going to give a last try. So and I pull out to this helicopter. What do I this one right here which is working pretty well, but you have to sacrifice ninety percent of the power to make it work. So that gives you an idea of how stupid it is. And you just add a gun, some ammo, and it's, it's over. It's not going to fly anymore. So, <laughs> so yeah, that that's depressing. So, yeah, I need to talk with, like, the pe people on the ACF um, who are working on ACF because we need to fix that. There is no point of if you can't if we can't uh, do an heli helicopter. It's it's so sad. Like we can easily fix that. We just need some information that are in the Lua and having it to display from the gearbox on something and just countering it or negate it. Negate it maybe. That's the way to say it. I don't know. So yeah. Here you have my my overall uh, view about helicopter because I can do tank like I do tank like I will show you my favorite ones a tank destroyer. Let's see, boom. Yeah, everything is well. Uh, Everything is <laughs> is a complete mess. <laughs> so 
So yeah, it's not realistic at all. It's not the point. It's just making a pleasure of doing some tank destroyer. And this one, the turret was an experiment. It worked with set angle. So there is like a, a prop somewhere there. Just flying around and giving and give the angle to the to the tank. To the to the tank to the gun. So yeah, since I've moved to ACF3, it's not rotating anymore. I have to uh, tweak a bit the um, the gearbox, but yeah, pretty good thing. Just like it, but yeah, I want to make an helicopter. So that's it. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you next time.